The road we're on is paved in Garth. Come along on the journey. As we explore Garthology. Think of it more as a conversation. I like that. So if this is truly a conversation, then I say let the conversation begin. Hey everyone, it's Deb, and I'm on my own today to discuss a Nashville landmark, the historic Bluebird Cafe. This will be a very brief discussion because mostly I want to recommend a documentary to you, but that will come at the end. To start, let's discuss the significance of the Bluebird Cafe. The Bluebird Cafe is a renowned and intimate music venue located in Nashville, Tennessee, and it holds a special place in the country music scene. The Bluebird Cafe is not a large concert hall, but rather a small, unassuming space that has become a crucial hub for songwriters and musicians. The venue gained widespread recognition for its in-the-round performances, where songwriters sit in a circle, taking turns playing their songs and sharing stories behind their compositions. This unique setup allows audiences to experience live music in a more personal and acoustic setting, fostering a deep connection between the artist and the listeners. Now let's look at important dates in Bluebird's history. I found this information I'll provide here on the official website of the Bluebird Cafe, which can be found at bluebirdcafe.com. That's B-L-U-E-B-I-R-D-C-A-F-E dot com. In January 1982, Amy Curland opened the Bluebird Cafe as a 100-seat restaurant in a small strip mall five miles from downtown Nashville. While her focus originally was to serve lunch and dinner, Curlin added a small stage and involved friends with music venue experience to help book bands after the dinner crowd. January 1st, 1983, the first of many record deals was made at the Bluebird. Kathy Matea had been playing the Bluebird for several months and lands a record deal on Mercury Records. On July 1st, 1984, the Bluebird held their very first official Sunday Writers' Night featuring 8-10 to songwriters chosen through their now-famous audition process. January 1, 1985, the Songwriter in the Round format gets its start, a legendary tradition that continues still today. In 1987, the Bluebird starts their Monday open mic nights. And on December 19, 1987, Garth Brooks performs at the Bluebird, and on this night, history is made. Due to a cancellation, Garth's performance is moved up in the program and Lynn Schultz from Capitol Records is in the audience. And although Lynn had met with Garth already and passed on signing him to a record deal, seeing him perform live in front of an audience at the Bluebird Cafe changed everything. After his performance, Schultz takes Garth into the kitchen and asks him to come back to Capitol the next day to offer him a deal. Years later, Garth said, The Bluebird is the beginning and the Mecca the end. In 1994, Barbara Walters interviewed Garth at the Bluebird, tackling many subjects in one of her in-depth interviews. And in 2008, original owner and founder Amy Kurland transfers ownership of the Bluebird but in an amazing way. So this is where we come to the documentary topic I mentioned at the beginning of this episode. In 2019, the amazing history of this famed and historic Nashville landmark was captured in a truly terrific documentary titled simply Bluebird. I recently found this available for purchase on Amazon, so I bought it and instantly hit play on it. What a fantastic documentary. Like, I cannot express how great it was to watch this. I literally enjoyed every single minute of it. The stories, the history, all told from the people who are still there night after night. Truly, if you are a country music fan, a songwriter fan, 
This is one movie you should buy or rent. You should watch it today. It is so, so great. As I've mentioned on our podcast previously, songwriters are everything to us. That's part of the reason why we started this podcast, so that we could bring light to the songwriters behind Garth and all of his great songs. And that's exactly what The Bluebird does. And this documentary shows it from their perspective and talks about how important The Bluebird is to a songwriter. It's just, it's so great. Plus, we get to see so many familiar faces in it. Garth is in it, of course, but Tony Arada, Victoria Shaw, all people we've talked about previously in this podcast. I mean, Trisha, she's in it quite a lot. They discuss the famous songs and the artist's humble beginnings, the famed songwriter audition process. There's a restroom story that's hilarious. You gotta hear that one to believe it. Plus, how Garth showed up late to his performance. I mean, can you believe that? He was late. Some of my favorite quotes from the documentary are that the bluebird is filled with the songwriter Holy Spirit and that some of the greatest songs will never be heard except at the bluebird. It's amazing. And I have to tell you, the story of the Kathy Matea song, Where Have You Been? I mean, I've always loved that song since it was first released. But watching it in this documentary, I actually cried, you guys. The story is so touching. I didn't realize, well, you got to watch it. You've got to watch it. It's so good. Over the years, the Bluebird Cafe has played a significant role in the careers of many country music stars and has been featured in various films and TV shows and obviously this documentary. It has become a symbol of Nashville's vibrant music community and is often considered a must-visit destination for music enthusiasts. I was lucky enough to go to the Bluebird myself a few years back, and I remember being almost overwhelmed by the feelings there. But now, after watching this documentary and hearing in detail so much about the history of the Bluebird, I definitely want to go again. And I have to tell you, I'm kicking myself that I was just in Nashville and I didn't stop at the Bluebird. So... It's on my bucket list to go to Nashville again to hit the Bluebird. That's all for today's episode. So have you been to the Bluebird? If so, what was your experience like? Be sure and drop us your thoughts and experiences there on any of our social media accounts. And if you get the chance, check out the Bluebird documentary. As I said, you can find it on Amazon USA for sure. Check your streaming services. I bet you've got somewhere you can watch it, too. Have you checked out our website at Garthology.com yet? If not, stop by today. Check out past episodes and bonus content. And remember to subscribe to our podcast on your podcast platform of choice. Hey, if you get the chance, whatever you listen to us on, be sure and leave us a review and encourage others to listen. Don't forget to stop by our social media accounts to let us know what you think of the Bluebird. On Facebook, we can be found at facebook.com slash GarthologyCast. And on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Threads, we're also at GarthologyCast. Thanks again for checking in with Garthology, and I'm Deb, and I'll see you next time. And remember, love will always win.